Hello dear friends, my name is Jitendra Bhafna. I am a senior solution architect. In this video, we are going to see how to design a sync API using AnyPoint Platform Design Center. So MuleSoft has recently added a support for a sync API. With a sync API, you can design your event driven APIs basically. Okay. So let me see how we can write or how we can start with a sync API in design center. So you just logging into any point platform and you go to design center in design center. You can click on create new and you just say a sync API. I will just give this name as a orders. A sync API. So what like what is the benefit of a sync API? So basically you can design your API, then you can disk, you can easily discover your API and you can publish your API to the partners. You can publish the API to developers so they, they can see the documentation and they can identify what is the requirement for this event based API, right? So once you create the API, you can see that it added some in initial information like the e async API version. It puts some kind of information like title and what is the version and then the channel. Channel is nothing like uh, it can be Q or topic or like you just have to provide the channel name. Like we have provide a resource name into your RAML or open API specification. So you can simply say tab and I will sub simply provide order request is my name then also it like uh, in raml we have some http methods like post get put patch delete similarly in async api we have a two method one is publish and subscribe so like uh, publish where you can go and just publish your message any pub producer can publish the message and subscribe like consumer can subscribe to that particular message let me see so we have a publish right once we click on publish we have to provide a message then we have to provide a payload then type of payload so basically you can say object then you can define a properties so basically uh, i want order id then you can say type which is of type string then you can also define some kind of example so I can say one, two, three. Then also you can define many other things like uh, max length, you know, minimum. So with, whether it is required, I can say true. Okay. So such kind of thing can be done here. Not this example. It should be example. Required true, or also you can define a max length, mean length, you know maximum minimum so there are a lot of things you can define so i can say mean length is one then i can say max length is 10 then also i can define more properties order so order id is one then i can provide something called shipping address and then you can say type again which is string then example i can say 101 oxford this is oxford and i can say india whatever address you need to provide you can do that and it's not required the next thing like i can start defining uh, order cost or order price or simply I can say order amount I can say type so it apo it support uh, string I will just use a string only you can put integer whatever I will say example which is something three four three four three dot zero zero then order date I can say type string then I can define example which is 2022 so this is my order date so these are the few parameters now also I want to subscribe the message so 
I have published the message now I will also want to subscribe the message so basically uh, so for subscribing the message I will be having a different channel so I will create a different channel which is order response okay so that is the order response now I will use the method called subscribe correct then I can say message a payload then I can define a type of object then I can define a properties then again I can start defining my properties first it will always come order ID let me copy this same thing here then later I can define order status which is of type again string then you can mention some example so basically order under processing order so basically you can define more field like uh, order shipping date I can say type string then example is equals to 2022 02 26 right so that is how uh, okay so that is how you can define uh, your async API so basically what I have done I, I simply create a sync API that having the two channel order request and order response that is not, nothing that it can be queue or topic then generally uh, we have a two method for uh, for event uh, messages which is either it can be published or either it can be subscribed message so I created two channel one is order request one is order response so from order request in order request we are publishing the message the publisher will publish the message with this particular fields then within the order response channel the subscriber or consumer will subscribe to this particular message so you can see it here so it has generated a documentation also and even you can publish this API to any point exchange so let me do that I will put the version and I will just publish to exchange so basically it is providing the advantage where you can easily design your API you can discover the API and you can share your API with your partners developers so they can easily identify the requirement for your event driven APIs I will simply say done I will simply move to any point exchange so you can see our sync API here and you can see it ever to it generate the documentation for you and I can also share this document over or this API async API over developer portal just I've saved it and let me try to access my developer portal so public portal so you can see your order async API is here so we have a two uh, two channels one is order request and order response so order request contain one method which is published whereas order response contains subscribe and if you open this so you will see all the details about this API so these are the like uh, order ID like you know shipping address order amount. so you can see all the specification has been generated same thing goes with subscribe also so within order response channel we have a subscribe method so you can see that so basically you can easily share your API or event based API or event driven API to your developer partners or like you know to any consumer you, know, you want to publish or subscribe the message from that particular channel okay I hope you like the video if you like the video please click on like and subscribe button thanks for watching